Okay, this is James P. Madonna of the Facebook group, Everything is Food. Okay, and Mega Life 21. I'm at the uh, at my usual Friday lunch buffet at the Royal Hibachi uh, Grill on uh, Route 46 West in uh, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Okay, it's a very quiet and pleasant uh, Friday afternoon. And uh, I got my lemons for my lemonade. And here, as my surprise, I have extra large duck. Look at the size of this duck wing. Now this duck, at least they allowed this duck to, to live a more, um, a longer, more fulfilled life before they, they killed it. And I got pieces of duck around it. Here we got the uh, uh, jumbo shrimp wrapped in flounder. I'm just trying the fried clams out because I don't know how they're going to be. I don't know how much batter will be around them. And of course, the grape leaves, the rolled grape leaves. But I'm very happy about the large, meaty, succulent pieces of duck that is out of luck. This is part one of the Royal, Royal Hibachi a Grill and Buffet. Okay, Route 46 uh, West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Uh, and uh, the place, it's a lovely place, you know. But then again, you already know that because I, I do this often. Okay, phase one of the lunch buffet. High quality food. Come and uh, visit, definitely. Oh, oh, somebody's got loud kids. You hear the, the little boy. They always run their mouth, these obnoxious kids, you know. I think the little boys are, are, are more louder and, and are more obnoxious than little girls, to be honest with you. But uh, maybe not. Okay. Okay, phase two. Let's see, what am I gonna have? Phase two, Royal Hibachi a Grill and Buffet, 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey, James P. Madonna, everything is food. The Facebook group, let's see. Nah, I could have the seafood salad, but there's way too many uh, bell peppers in there. I'm not a big bell pepper fan. Let's see. I could have some mozzarella. Well, in honor of Mr. Salvatore Mercurio, which I give a shout out right now, I, could, I will partake in some fresh mozzarella and sliced tomato. They look like they're, they're well ripened too. Maybe they're vine ripened, who knows? Let me get a plate. Uh, let's see what we got over here. What the hell happened to the plates? Oh, here they are. Always get the plate underneath so you don't, have, you don't end up with dusk dust or uh, you know any uh, debris on your dish always take the plate from underneath little sanitary lesson from James P. Madonna all right here we got platanos maduros yeah you know what? I could take a couple of those I don't want too many because I, I like I'm on a low carb diet <clears throat> No calamar, just fried clams. I'm a little disappointed. No calamar, no fried calamar. Uh, eh. What do we got here? Stuffed crab? Wow. I'm not sure if there's real crab meat in here, but it's stuffed crab. And, uh, tilapia? No, I don't touch tilapia for certain reasons. You know, they're farm raised and uh, you don't know if they, um, if the ponds are kept uh, immaculately clean and you know, fish will tend to eat at the bottom if they have to. Um, mm, no, I don't care for that. Mushrooms. I am a fun guy, but I'm not in the mood for mushrooms. 
What am I in a mood for? Half it to the uh, no lamb ribs, huh? Short ribs. No lamb ribs this week. But, oh, look at that. Mussels and marinara sauce. That, that looks good. <coughs> These are short ribs? They look tender. Maybe I'll try some. All right. Little surf and turf here. Partake in, uh... oh, I'm sorry. They're clams and mussels marinara. In honor of Enzo Amore, who was uh, unjustly released from the WWE. Mussels marinara. Oh boy, this is phase two, by the way, of the uh, this uh, Sunday's, uh, I mean Sunday, what the hell am I talking about? This Friday's lunch buffet here, Royal Hibachi Grill, all right, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Uh, yeah, yeah, and we're just going to go for the New Zealand green lip mussels because the clams look a little small I mean the clam the meat of the clam so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go for that New Zealand green lip lip mussels eh, that's about it oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. well that's a baby uh, here's, hey here's one that escaped here's one that escaped the jabroni all right all right let's go I'll leave some for other people um, got spinach, cheese, spinach with cheese is the waitress, but I won't put her on YouTube. Don't worry. All right. Uh, let's see what else. Mm. Let's check the duck out. Oh, the problem with the duck is. It is very greasy. There it is. And every time I, I eat duck, I gotta go wash my hands I gotta, all over again in the men's room. So that's the drawback. The shrimp looks good. Check on the sushi. I, I usually leave the sushi for last. Uh, nah, I'm waiting for the. Oh, it's wiped out, man. I'm waiting for the hardcore sushi. Sashimis. Uh, a lot of these are like variations of California rolls, you know. This one's not bad. I think it's called spicy tuna roll. You see a piece of av avocado in there. Most, yeah, most of them are like <clears throat> not hardcore. Uh, I'm wait. Well, hopefully they'll bring it out. Oh, by the way. Uh, uh, my sister Lisa loves the uh, the, the um, seaweed salad, sesame oil flavored uh, seaweed salad. It might, it's most likely wakame seaweed. And that's it. There's some crawdads. But do I want to? Do I feel like opening up those little little things? To suck out a little bit of meat? Nah, I don't think so. This looks good. This is a sh shrimp and creole sauce, which I can I can get some here. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna scoop it at. And that should do it for phase two. As you can see, the duck looks good, but I already had plenty of it. Uh, no drumstick. I'm for a drumstick. Excuse me. All right, that's about it. Phase two. All right, this is part of phase two. Royal Hibachi Grill and Buffet. Route 46 West Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Here I have uh, Jumbo New Zealand Green Lip Mussels. All right, 
a couple of Platanos Maduros, which is ripened plantains, uh, boneless short rib, and some uh, Camar Camarón shrimp and Creole sauce. I want to give a shout out to my near dear Natalia Rodriguez in San Diego, California. Um, this guy, I swear, I wanted to punch him. I wanted to knock his ass out. When I was by the duck, he gets right in front of my plate, doesn't even say excuse me, okay? Almost like he was trying to push me over, but he, he wouldn't dare. You know, my dish is in front of him. You think he, you think he like says, excuse me, is this your plate? Can I, you know? And I would have said, oh, no problem. And I would have moved the plate over. The guy just like a gavon starts, starts uh, scooping up the shrimp Creole with my dish right in front of him. I swear to God, I wanted to knock his ass out. He's sitting over there. That's him. That Bald-headed motherfucker. Okay, I have a, a pleasant surprise. The calamar was finally put out. It's about time. It's James P. Madonna, the Facebook group, everything is food. Royal Abaji Grill. Saddlebrook, New Jersey, Route 46 West. Finally, they put the calamar out. All right, all right. That was nice of them. Better late than never, right? Yeah, uh, too bad the tentacles are not here. You know, Americans tend to be like babies, you know? They won't eat the tentacles because of the way they look, but the tentacles actually taste better than the rings. But they forgot to put the spoon out for the sauce. All right. So I'm supposed to levitate it with my eyes, right? Yeah. Okay. Besides not having Wi-Fi here, um, I have to go get a spoon. All right. Oh. oh, you got a spoon for the, the sauce, the calamar, the, the tomato sauce? Give me one second. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, as I'm waiting. Thank you, gracias. Bye bye. Okay, now we got a little. Little, little calamari marinara in honor of Enzo Omori, who was screwed over by that scamming harpy, that scamming woman. Okay. Taking advantage of the um, judicial system that does not treat both men and women equally. And also, shame on you, WWE, for for releasing Enzo Amore for something he's 99.9999% not guilty of. Okay, this the false accusation of sexual harassment uh, situation. But anyway, Muscles Marinara and now Calamari Marinara in honor of Enzo Amore. There you go. Of course, I wish I had the tentacles, but I gotta, I gotta suck it up and deal with it. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Yeah, uh, I got some. Might be, look like salmon fillet teriyaki, but I like this, I like the salmon raw. All right, some uh, shrimp, the fettuccine alfredo with shrimp. Okay. I went hog wild with the calamar. How you doing? Hello, my friend. How are you, my friend? Very good, very How good. You good. I got the videos going on ah, YouTube. Here you go, that's it. Calamar, calamar, yeah, calamar, marinara. This is guy is the best right here. You remember him from past videos? He's the best. The chef of the future. That's it. Chef of the best. The be of the best and the future. Okay, it's a little, still kind of barren over here, but that's okay. I got my, I got a job. Oh, 
for the best. Chef for the best. The best of the bestest. But I would sound so much like asbestos. I, oh, the lemons are over here now. Look at that, the lemons migrated. They migrated. All right, you know what? Enough is enough. I know, I know the moots has been disrespected because I have mentioned Salvatore, uh, uh, Salvatore Mercurio's mozzarella and nobody bothers to, you know, comment or say anything nice. And I'm, it's really aggravating me. Everybody's an egomaniac, all right? Everybody's an egomaniac nowadays on social media and they're disrespecting the moots, all right? And I'm gonna have, uh, now the moots has got marinara sauce underneath it. Ah, oh, bafangu. Eh, you know what? I'll deal with it. Shout out again to Salvatore Mercurio, okay? Calamari and mozzarella. Cal cal calamoots, I call it. I fried calamoots. Ah, oh, here we go. All right. Oh. Fried calamari rings, marinara for Enzo Amore. Fresh mozzarella with tomato. It's up for Salvatore Mercurio. The moots is being respected. I don't like it. And me and Salvatore have to do something about it. We should go live. And we should we should tell like it is. And whoever gets insulted, it's just too damn bad. All right, all right. This is phase three of this Friday's lunch buffet. Phase three. James P. Madonna. Sign okay, here we go. Phase four, the last phase. I'm gonna get some. Um, oh well. Oh, man, it finally came out. I'm gonna get some uh, sashimi. Yeah, I'm kind of full, so I'm only gonna get two of each. Two um, tuna and two salmon sashimi, and uh, one unagi, which is roasted eel. One unagi, right? That should do it. That should that should be enough. I'm full. One unagi and two of each. Uh, little bit of pickled ginger. A little pickled ginger. And a little. Uh, you know what I do? This is what I do. This is what I do. I mix the uh, wasabi in with the soy sauce. All right, but this wasabi strong. The way they, the way they make it. Oh God, this stuff is hot as hell. All right, and then, and then I'm gonna mix it. Mix it up when I get to the table. And then, uh, of course, uh, I'm not going to video dessert because that's kind of boring. Maybe I will. I don't know. I haven't decided. So I'm going to go back to the table with my sashimi. Phase four. Royal Hibachi Grill, Route 46, uh, West Saddle Brook, New Jersey. James P. Madonna, Facebook group. Everything is food. Okay. Uh, so now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix the wasabi with the soy sauce, like I always do. And uh, just pour it right on it. Or I could dip it. Eh, maybe I'll dip it. All right, so that looks pretty. All right, it's going to be simple. Phase five, dessert. Now we got this version and that version. To me, a baklava. Actually, it's quite excellent. 
This chocolate cake is also excellent too. Now, but I think what I'm gonna have, I believe this is do, uh, tres leches, tres leche uh, dessert. I'm gonna have a little piece of tres leche. They told me this was it. Well, we're gonna find out. All right, we're gonna find, uh, I ruined the design, what the hell. All right, I think that's it. I think that's it, tres leche. I guess this is the leche that is made with the tres leche that I will, I am pouring on this. Uh, you know what, you never know, it might be good. I'll try another little piece. How's that sound? All right, tres leche, a, a Latin American uh, delight, all right? Yeah, maybe I'll get a little more, little leche on the tres leche again. Dripping on there, all right? This is the Facebook group, everything is food, right? James P. Madonna, Mega Life 21, Royal Hibachi, a Gorilla and Buffet, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Now, I'm gonna pass on the others. It's getting kind of late. You know what? Got nice looking oranges, grapes. That's, uh, um, I think that's uh, loquat or, um, or lychee. No, not lychee, loquat. It might be loquat. High quat, low quat. Of course, you know uh, kiwi fruit when you see it. Right. Eh. I'll take a, I'll take a one piece of pineapple, fresh pineapple. And we have ice cream. All right, one chocolate ice cream for me. Okay. Let me put this over here. Okay, one chocolate ice cream, make sure it's chocolate. Got it. This is the final phase of the buffet, all right? Returning to the seat. Returning to the seat. Let me get a small dessert spoon. Hold on. Where the hell's the spoon? There we go. The spoon. Let me take a shortcut. Back to the seat. All right. This is it. This is the grand finale. This, I hope this is authentic. Tr tres leche, piece of pineapple, chocolate ice cream. All right? Signing off. Have a great week, fo week folks. Stay healthy and safe. And uh, always eat high quality food. You are what you eat. Don't eat that toxic. American food industry garbage that poison and and anyone who who eats and and promotes processed cheese foods processed cheese like imitation fake cheese like Velveeta American cheese and cheese whiz should jump into an active live volcano. I think Mount Vesuvius and Mount Etna are, are, are right now very active.